yesterday's video was basically about having discipline and then it popped up this morning and and not one but but two of my daily routine things and it got me thinking about discipline okay so there's there's two types of discipline there's discipline is externally enforced discipline and internally enforced discipline all right and i'm going to use the marine corps as an example and this what i'm about to say may get some of my marine corps brothers uh may disagree with this but i, I i'm a firm believer of this and i have been for a very long time as long as you are physically able anybody can become a marine it's it's a matter of having the mental strength and the mental discipline to do what needs to be done to to become a marine now the marine corps especially in boot camp does a fantastic job of disciplining you and and making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing when you're supposed to be doing it but to to actually complete marine corps boot camp it takes internal discipline it takes self discipline to make it through boot camp and you have to you have to have the, the mental strength to to embrace the suck right and and if you don't know what embrace the suck means it's it's powering through adversity and accepting your circumstances for what they are and doing what needs to be done to get through it all right so there's those there's the two types of discipline and one of the things i found out when i got out of the marine corps was my self-discipline was not the greatest it could have been and, and it hasn't been for a very long time and that's why i'm doing doing some of the stuff i'm doing now in order to get strengthen that muscle and it is it is a it's 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 akin to a muscle it's not really a muscle but it's a it's a habit it's a pattern that you have, that you have to follow to be self-disciplined now if you look at all the most successful people in the world i'm I'm, I'm going to go out there, I'm not a psychologist, but I'm going to go out there and I'm going to say that to a person, they are autistic to some extent. No, oh, hold on, we gotta got to mark our territory. They are autistic to, to a certain extent. And the things that they have in common, the, 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 the two big things that successful people, not just, not just like the big and powerful people or professional athletes or... or you know, businessmen or anybody like that, but anybody who's successful, the two things that they have in common is that they are organized and they have a routine. And they follow those, they, 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 they strictly adhere to being organized. They, 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 they make plans and they stick to them and they make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. And they have a routine that they follow almost religiously all right and that, that's one of the reasons why i think they're they're probably someplace on the autistic spectrum because because it's a it's a very very habitual thing to do all right and so we've all got habits and these habits rule our lives and the the big question is is it a good habit or is it a bad habit now Here's one of my bad habits. This is the very bad habit I've got. I am a stress eater. And that's one of the reasons why I've had problems with my weight throughout my life is, is that I stress eat. Whenever I get stressed, I, I eat. That's an extremely unhealthy habit. And it has caused me all sorts of problems throughout my life. I mean, it, it led directly to two heart attacks, you know. So that's a that's a habit that I, I have to have discipline to overcome. Now, here's the thing about being successful. The easy path. Well, hold it back. Let me back step. So there's there's two paths that we can take in our lives. All right. The the first path is the easy path, and the second path is the hard path. Now. You, you hear, you hear people say work smarter, not harder, 
you know, so it, it, it if you smart if you work smarter, it's easier and all that. So in in this case though, if you take the easy path through life, it is going to take you longer and it's going to be much harder over that longer amount of time to get where you want to be than if you take the hard path. And the hard path in this case is the path of discipline. And this is the path that you embrace the suck and you grind through it, just like we talked about yesterday. And you, you have the discipline to do what needs to be done in every aspect of your life. Now, this is not something that we can just turn on. It's something that we have to work up to. I just I know this from, from personal experience. You know, it's it's something you know, there's the it's the rare human being that has the the, the God given talent to get a jump start on that. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's a perfect example. Michael Jordan was one of the most gifted athletes that we we've known. And the thing that made him successful was not his natural gift. The thing that made him successful was that he was self-disciplined and he practiced harder than everybody else. He practiced longer than everybody else. And he, he did what needed to be done in order to be successful. Same with Tom Brady. Not a big Tom Brady fan. But I will say this. The man's work ethic is unparalleled in the modern era as far as I'm concerned. The guy, the guy is the consummate professional at his trade, and it's all through self-discipline. You know, and and okay, so how does this tie together with everything that we talk about here at Grumpy Acres? Well, number one, we keep saying, we keep telling people that that freedom. Freedom in a life done free is intentional. It doesn't happen by accident. And intentionality, intentionality is a, a byproduct of routine and discipline. You know, having the discipline to follow the routine that allows you to be free. So, if you want to be free, and you want to do all the things that... that that we talk about, you know, build community, food independence, building the skill sets you need to, to take care of problems. Um, you have to be disciplined. And, oh, that's a road sign. Something up there ahead of us, I couldn't quite make it out. And it was like, oh, it's the road sign by the bridge. But, uh, so yeah, if you want to... If you want to be free, you got to be disciplined. And this is this is how they, the proverbial they, this is how they work against us. You guys know what a Hegelian dialect is? It's a, I think I pronounced that right. So it's whenever, and correct me if if I'm wrong in this, correct me in the in the comments, please. Maybe I got the wrong name. Anyway. It's where someone creates a problem and then provides you a solution to the problem that they created and get you to accept it. In fact, if they make the problem big enough, you will ask them to provide a solution for you. All right. This is, this is how, this is one of the underlying psychological things behind the way this works is people's lack of discipline. All right, so let's take, okay, is it this, oh, hang on, just went past the 30 minute mark, um, this is probably going to upset some people, but I don't care, poverty, poverty in America is a real thing, all right, it, it is, it is a real thing, most people that live in poverty in America do show do so by their own choices. And I'm sorry, this the camera's gonna bounce a little bit. They regraded the road and put a bunch of gravel down so it's all bumpy and stuff, so the camera may be bouncing more than usual. Anyway, 
Most people that live in poverty do so by their own choice. And it's it's a matter of you know, there's three things you can do if you wanna if you wanna almost guarantee that you don't live in poverty in America. Number one, finish high school. Number two, don't have a kid before you're married. And number three, have a job. And if you do those three things, you're almost guaranteed not to live in poverty. Just statistically. So, you know, and these are these are all matters of discipline. So this okay, so we're almost home, so I'll I'll wrap this up, okay? Well, I think I, I think I kind of made my point. You know, discipline, if you want to be free, you gotta have self-discipline. And self-discipline is something that leads to habits and routines and embracing the suck and not taking the easy way, taking the hard way to, to make make yourself successful. And and that's what we need to do. All right. Hey, listen, I, I appreciate you guys going on the walk with me. These things roll around in my head, and it just, it's kind of, kind of a good uh, outlet to get on here and talk to you guys about it. Love to hear what you have to say about it. Love the comments we get. We get some really good comments. In fact, somebody made a comment the other day that I, I, I need to respond to, and I, I actually did a video one morning on, on the morning walk as a response to it but I, I decided not to post it i'm gonna think about it think about it more and, and craft a better craft a better re response all right listen if you want to support the channel um and you know i the the never alone shirt is a fantastic way to support the channel if you purchase one Plus, it, it reminds you that you're never alone as long as you've got God and community. And both those, both those will lead to making your life way easier and helping you have the self-discipline that it takes to survive and thrive in this world. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for making it this far in the video. Like, comment, share, do all that stuff. Let YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Go out and support other creators too that, that that do content like this. Most importantly, as I say every day, and say it till I die, go out and live a life done free today, guys. Take care. Thanks, Milo.